How do you feel about what Brad Sherman thinks about the uh, uh, Obama Netanyahu rift o over the Iranian uh, sanctions issue? I like Brad Sherman immensely. I think he's a lovely man. He's been in, in Congress for many, many years. But I think that he's mired in, in this congressional thinking, this democratic thinking, where he's putting his democratic politics and his loyalty maybe to the administration over the security of the United States and Israel and the Middle East, Jordan and Egypt, who are very, very worried about, God forbid, Iran getting nuclear power. Because if Iran gets nuclear power, then you've got Pakistan, who's already promised Saudi Arabia that they are going to sell nuclear power immediately to Saudi Arabia. Jordan is terrified. Egypt is, is horrified. And so I think that Brad Sherman has to start thinking out of the box. What do you uh, object to about his argument rather than what, what you feel his allegiances are? I think Brad Sherman has to understand that Israel really cannot do anything at this juncture about Iran's ability to make nuclear weapons. But the United States has the power, the United States has the power to um, effectively alter Iran's objectives by making those sanctions so difficult for Iran to do business that they that the Ayatollah will actually be scared that maybe a million people would rise up against him after after they would drop into poverty and they would lose power because unless the Ayatollah is actually threatened they're going to continue to enrich they're not afraid really of the United States and they're not afraid of a few sanctions but unless we get tough and I don't see the administration doing anything but appeasing I don't understand and I don't understand the secret discussions that Obama is having with Iran number one and number two why isn't Israel Egypt Jordan at the table with these these countries, they should be making the decisions as well and being involved. They're the most affected. So that's my How do you feel about the way that APAC has been handling the issue? I think APAC is so extraordinary. I really do. I they are they want a strong America. They want a strong Israel and they want democracy to thrive in the world. That is APAC's position. APAC doesn't care if, it, if Likud is in power or more liberals are in power. They want to support Israel, whoever is in power. And, and I hope people understand that. It, we are not Republicans or Democrats. We are here to support a strong America and a strong Israel. Do you feel that uh, supporting uh, Israel's interests may be antithetical to our patriotic duty as Americans? I do. I think it's very important to support Israel. They are the canary in the you know, that, that is antithetical, meaning that it's contrary? Supporting Israel is contrary to American interests? I think that is absolutely pro-American to support Israel because Israel is the canary in the coal mine. They are our front, the front leader to let us know what's going on in the Middle East and if America is threatened in the Middle East. Israel will help protect America and they do work together. They do work together. If Obama's driving a wedge between support for Israel and America, do you feel that uh, uh, going against Obama could be uh, construed as uh, 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 dual loyalism on the part of American Jews? Yes, I think American Jews are very torn because American Jews tend to be Democrats. We tend to support the underdog. Um, we support social action and social committees in this country. And I think there is a division right now, and American Jews and Israelis are very upset with Obama's position and very hurt and very scared. That is my feeling. Do you share those feelings? I do. I'm very, very frightened right now. I'm frightened of Obama. I'm frightened of the administration and their lack of understanding that we are such a tiny people. There's not that many of us in the world. And, and he's creating a wedge between Israel and America. And I don't understand why, because America is a democracy and Israel is a democracy. And I don't get it. Maybe you do. <laughs>